Hello guys, in this video we will install AWS CLI. CLI stands for Command Line Interface. So every time when you type AWS, you will be able to access your AWS account and perform some commands. And there are many of them you can do. So to install it, of course, you have to go and grab the install instruction from the official website. I did it before. So the first step would be to download the zip file and name it as this. Now it's downloaded, it's like uh, 46 megabytes. The next step, of course, will be to unzip it. Let's do it. Done. The next step will be to install it. So let's install it with sudo. Let's check if it's gonna work for us. Yeah, so it works. Uh, AWS CLI was installed. The version is 2.9. The version of Python is 3.9. By the way, if you don't have Python, you will not able to do it. You, you have to install Python first. If you don't know how, there is a video. Uh, you can follow it. Let's go to the next step. And the next step will be to configure AWS CLI so that it could access your account. And for that, on, on our account, we will have to configure security credential. So let's do it. A AWS configure. As you can see, it's asking for the access key. So let's go and provide it. For that, we go into our AWS account. Here we go. Uh, let's go to security credential. Let's go to the user. And let's say we create a new user that will be having access to DynamoDB. DynamoDB user. Next, we have to create a group. Create a group. We did create a user, but we haven't created a group. Let's create a group because it's the right thing to do. And the group will be DynamoDB Power Users, meaning that the, whoever belongs to this group will have access to DynamoDB uh, to write and read or read to write and write. Let's assume um, the policy permissions. In this case, I type DynamoDB and I find the first that I could find policies about DynamoDB and this user will be able to do all that stuff, pretty much everything. So we're assigning this policy to newly created group. No users yet assigned it to this one. So let's go back to the user. This is our users. Let's make it belong to the group. Here we go. Nice. So right now we have a user who has access to DynamoDB. The next step, create a security credential. And that's easy. Just click on this button, create access key. Then choose this first option for CLI. Uh, this checkbox that we understand what we do and we do. Generate the key. Then look, this is access key that we asked for. Let's go back to our CLI and provide this there. The next, what it wants, it wants to get the access key. Please don't show this access key to anyone. I'm showing it to you right now just because I will delete it afterwards. And then paste. And okay, so now it's asking us for default region. Let's provide the default region. And in my case, it's going to be this. So hopefully I'm copy pasting correctly this time. And then the default option format is fine. Let's go and check these credentials again. Here we go. We do have AWS secret key, AWS secret access key. There is nothing about region name. I don't know why, So, but honestly, I don't care. We will need to do something next is to set this flag. AWS configure set select auto prompt on. This way, every time when we type AWS, we will have this nice access to AWS commands with the auto-completion support. Then imagine, I don't know any command at all, but I know that I'll need some information in my DynamoDB setup, right? Then I type AWS, then I type something like DynamoDB, then let's say I need, I don't know, describe, here we go, limits. Boom, the current limitations. So that's it. Another option just to show 
let's say if you want this auto prompt on always you can set it you can do like that you go to your profile a lot of stuff here already uh, export of AWS CLI auto prompt on and this way I don't need to type it always because this will be my default setting make it bigger so you can see then I type AWS here we go 